Hey, what's up, people? It's your boy Smiley, and today we are going to do a play that y'all keep talking about Cole Anthony. Now, Cole Anthony, I've seen some of his stuff in high school, and but I kind of felt awful in watching him in college because I don't really watch college. But um, I saw some reports saying that he did not have a really good college year, but you know, NBA Draft.net and Hoop Intellect got me so. We gonna read some of these uh, strengths off, man. Okay, so Anthony is a aggressive, confident, score first point guard. That that could be nice off the bench. He's six three, six five wingspan. A uh, good physical profile, above average athleticism, everything. Okay, it, they say he had a good first step too, which I seen in high school. But <laughs> I remember watching Cole Anthony in high school. This man remind me of Austin Rivers so much. Just because of the confidence he exuded off, man. Like, he just knew he was going to be great. And I could, I don't know. I kind of like that. Um, he has shot-making ability, ball skills, able to do it at all three levels, mid-range paint, three-pointer, um, can attack in isolation. That's great. Um, and they say he's, like, one of the best at making difficult shots in this draft. So, But they also said that could be a detriment because he takes too many difficult shots but we gonna see can finish with either hand um he when he decides to go in playmaker mode he occasionally shows adequate passing skills okay um has potential to be a good defender and should be able to guard uh one the one and two which is great versatile is all, always um appreciated now the weaknesses uh, these weaknesses kind of had me shaky on him a little bit. Um, they said there's a concern if he's not talented enough to be effective as a team leader, he may struggle to contribute. That one had me thinking a little bit because like I ain't never heard that before. Like you, it, I don't know. I think we we, we gonna see about that <laughs> because uh, we definitely have leaders on the team. So he could be the leader of the second unit, but even then, Marcus Smart is in the second unit so i don't know we're gonna see um over penetrating and throw a wild contested shots to uh, attempted to draw fouls but ended up being well contested misses that's a little shaky too and his shot selection with a 38 percent field goal range with brad stevens he he shows no love to rookies. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll let you take this um a well contest miss. He gonna take he gonna take you right out. Stop playing with him. Um, but he can be a little bit sloppy with ball, with the ball. Wait a second. I I, <laughs> I copy some of this. I ain't read this. Four assists to three point five turnovers. I don't know about this, man. I I don't I don't know about it. But yeah. Like I said, we're going to see who pins like and got the film. Um, Was a lackluster 34% from downtown. Uh, they say he's not a knockdown shooter from NBA range and his sharp release is slow. So it's a little shaky. It's like I wouldn't be mad if we drafted Cole Anthony, but he's going to have to show me something. Now, is he a better prospect than RJ? I don't think so. But is he a better prospect um, for the Celtics, Cole Anthony, than RJ? I think so. Because we need like a spark plug, someone that we can take out easily if he gets too wild. But he can be a spark plug too. So, I don't know. They say he's streaky and everything. So, and there's also, it also begs a question. Can he replace Kimba uh, when Kimba's time is done? Because that's why uh, that's also what I'm looking at. Because I know Kyra could probably replace. I know, I think Tyrell could probably replace uh, Kimba. I think RJ could probably replace Kimba. But if Cole Anthony's just gonna be a score first point guard, we're, then we're not gonna really have a point guard to like, distribute and whatever. So Cole Anthony's gonna have to show me some passing or something. But I don't know. Hoop Intellect never let me down, so we're going to get started. Like I said, you can tell. You can tell, <laughs> you can tell by that first play. The bank got confidence. Got so much confidence. 
He gonna see if that confidence is good or bad. <laughs> 38% from field goal range and 34 from three point. I don't know, man. I don't know. But strength, shot creating, rebound, finishing, athleticism, ball handling. That that's all. That's all good. Rhythm shooter, nice footwork, and balance going either direction. Ah. I like seeing these picks and with the pull-ups because we do a lot of pull-ups. Okay. Mid-range. Comfortable in the pick and roll, always looking to score. I see he's looking at the big man and seeing if he's going to pull up or not. I like that. Craig with the ball, loves to step back and sidestep. That is the modern NBA, especially for guards and wings, man. The step backs and the side steps. And Jason Tatum is like the master of the side steps. So that that is a good thing. But let's see what type of side step you're taking. If you take a side step with like two people on him, I don't really want that. Um does a good job reading defender hips before making his move. I, I I've been seeing that. Okay. They said his shot is slow, but it, it's not too slow for it to be a weakness, so I, I I don't know. Like, his shot looks good. I don't think it's too slow. Good range of confidence from three. Plays well off ball and off screens. I already know his confidence is there, but 34% got me a little shaky. But I like a player that plays off ball, man. If you play off ball, if you play defense and you can work um off ball with cuts or threes and whatever... That's great. That's always going to be a plus for Ricky. That's always going to be a plus. Shoes off the hip. Uh, hop left, right, right, left. Not traditional footwork. Okay. Like, stuff like that. That is what the Celtics do. That is what the Celtics do. Hey, that, that's kind of nice, though. That was kind of nice. Use this jab to get rhythm and or create space. Okay. And they say he had a good first step, so that jab is going to be crucial. Very crucial. Especially with him only being 6'3". Um, soft loader and in-between game maintains touch through contact. That's what I like to see from young, um, from Ricky. I'm telling y'all, touch is so important. Because most of these players are the most athletic person um, ever since they were 4 years old. So if you have nice touch in the NBA, especially when you're a guard or wing, that is such a plus. Because nine times out of ten, you're probably not going to be the most athletic person on the court. Unless you're like LeBron or Wesley Westbrook. So if you can uh, not rely on athleticism so much and have that touch, that's amazing for a rookie. Um, finish well in traffic. He's creative and takes advantage of the athleticism. Oh, okay. Okay, they say he can finish with both hands, so that's great too. He's getting to his spots. Whoa, yeah, that paint is clogged. Okay, um, make finishing even tougher, no side use of body. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, that field goal percentage and that three point percentage, take that with a grain of salt because his teammates were injured and he had no spacing and no shooting. That's why you see the paint is clogged most of these drives. So, um, it says he's an impressive dunker, can catch you off guard with his blows, with his explosion. Okay, okay, catch a body. Yeah, like I said, I seen, I seen some of this stuff in high school. I seen it. These dunks are crazy though. Ugh. <laughs> Um, compact ball handle not gonna try to break. You would say he uses quick tight moves to throw out defender. I kinda like that. I don't like uh the NBA street uh ball handlers, you know what I'm saying? Get to your spot and make the shot. I like that. They say he can ISO, but he gets to his spot. He doesn't do too much, I like that. Oh wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. You, <laughs> you're not just gonna blow that past me like I ain't just see what I thought I saw. God, get up, baby. <laughs> oh man, he's shifting. Okay. I think Damian Lillard, Conley, 
Isaiah Thomas. Those are people that like to get to their spots. You know what I'm saying? Don't do too much. Not going to really break your ankles. They could, but get to your spot, make the shot. Excellent rebound for guard. That's one thing I know Ainge loves about Rick, about rookies. Someone that can use it, their athleticism for good, like for rebounding and defending and stuff. I know Ainge really likes that. So that's one reason why he might go after Cole. Hey, you see, you see the work he doing? Hold on, hold on. First he was bossed out, he did his work. I like that, I like that hustle. Solid on-ball defender, capable of being impact guy that in. He is moving his feet. I see him. He has good technique too, from what I'm seeing with these two highlights. Like I said, um, highlights don't tell the whole story and lowlights don't tell the whole story. Shot selection, passing, turnovers, length, injury concerns. Injury concerns? I ain't hear about that. Needs to work on shot selection. Part of it was due to lack of talent on new NC team. Like I said, it's not bad. Hold on. I'll. Is that well? You yeah, you could have passed the number one, but is that really a bad shot? He he got to a spot. You know what I'm saying? He could have passed the number one, like personally, but but that's not really a bad shot. I feel like. Now that is a bad shot. You're not gonna get a foul call for that. Score first mentality has a tendency to take the first shot of available early in the clock with open teammates. That will get you bench in the Celtic system. That right there will get you bench. So that shot right there will get you bench. Bench. That's a foul though. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna tell you when he's gonna get bench. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, well, maybe a bench, but nah. Confidence can lead him to make, to believe every shot is the best shot. What? Oh no, bench, bench, definitely. <laughs> oh, that's definitely bench. <laughs> nah, that's a good shot. Um, but yeah. I hope you have fun with those shots because in NBA, nobody's going for that. <laughs> but like I said, low lights don't tell the whole story and highlights don't tell the whole story. You never go too high or low with these highlights. Doesn't have great core awareness, pass the open teammates instead of passing them open. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Let me see. So it's just past like accuracy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's definitely past accuracy. Come on now. Has the core the score first mentality, can get tunnel vision, miss an open teammates or hit them late. It's that don't want to give up the ball. But I feel like some of this is trust. They said that uh some of his teammates were injured. So some of this has to be trust. Play style and injury history or races concern has ankle issues and Taurus meniscus last season uh, I don't know about that I don't know I, I don't like I don't like players with injury history I'm not gonna lie to you jo Jamal Murray hey if Jamal Murray was a little bit bigger you know what I'm saying but I, I could I could see it but I think Cole Anthony is a little bit faster than, than Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray oh, came to, into the league with like slow feet, I remember. So, but uh, I could definitely see his comparison. The shot making and everything, I could definitely, definitely see his comparison. But I think Jamal Murray is a better passer. But I think he worked into that. I could. That's a great comparison. That's a great comparison. <laughs> Okay. Shout out to Hoop Intellect, but yeah, this, is he an angel guy? That that's what I'm trying to put my finger on. Is he an angel guy? The rebounding, 
the athleticism, being a spark plug off the bench, that is Ainge. But the turnovers and the length, if the length is a weakness, I, I really don't see Ainge drafting Cole Anthony. Maybe if um RJ Hampton gets drafted or Terry gets drafted um before the Celtics pick, I can maybe see it, but maybe Cole Anthony isn't even there. Like I said, it's a long shot. He has injury history, but some teams like to bank out the high school resume and everything, so I I don't know. We gonna see. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I got so many Celtics draft reports. The playlist is going to be down there if y'all want to see some more. Kyra Lewis, Tyrell Terry. I got another one coming up. That's going to be a surprise. But I mess with y'all and south. Um, on my list going to be description. And subscribe. I'm out. Peace, King.